nice weather again today. It almost feels like it's summer actually. And what's going on today? How about this one? More, I guess, high-tech drones in outer space and all that? This one says, NASA's Dragonfly rotorcraft mission to Saturn's moon Titan confirmed. NASA has confirmed its Dragonfly rotorcraft mission to Saturn's organic rich moon Titan. The decision allows the mission to progress to completion of final design followed by the construction and testing of the entire spacecraft and science instruments. It sounds like they intend to do a lot with this too because it says here the rotorcraft targeted to arrive at Titan in 2034 will fly to dozens of promising locations on the moon looking for prebiotic chemical processes common on both Titan and the early Earth before life developed. Dragonfly marks the first time NASA will fly a vehicle for science on another planetary body. The rotorcraft has eight rotors and flies like a large drone. So it'll be interesting to see what they come up. In general, I'd rather see stuff like this actually, in terms of investing things like tech money and all that. Why not explore different planets and so forth versus everyone trying to kill each other, huh? And then I guess with the thought of drones, it was kind of interesting where a lot more authority figures, as you know, are using drones. But I guess this is an example of how much quicker they could solve, I guess, various issues if they use the tech. This one says, Nottinghamshire police drone pilots help officers locate three vulnerable people in less than 24 hours in Farnsfield and Shirebrook. Police drone pilots helped locate three vulnerable people in less than 24 hours. On Friday evening at around 10 p.m., a drone operator helped to locate two teenagers in the Farnsfield area after concerns were raised for their safety. A drone took off from the village cricket club and using a thermal imaging camera located the boys on a footpath to the north of the village. Both were unharmed. Yeah, so again, that's way more useful than the delays I guess you would have to potentially go through in terms of getting a huge helicopter, for example, or even just trying to scout everything from the ground. It just takes a longer time. It says the next day, officers were first alerted by a member of the public at around 7.15 p.m. after concerns were raised for the welfare of a man seen wandering in woodland near Shirebrook. A search of the area was started and a drone operator was called in to assist officers on the ground. Using a high power thermal imaging camera, the drone operator was able to locate the man within half an hour and direct officers on the ground to assist him. The man was returned home and given appropriate support. So again, it's kind of like the argument on why an official should be able to use it because you could save lives and stuff like that. But at the same time, it makes me wonder why couldn't a regular person do stuff like this as well? And it kind of reminds me too, if someone's lost in the woods and so forth, like all those stories of hikers, why not have that as an essential part of your, I guess, toolkit? You have a drone, so if you're lost, for example, you can fly up and say, oh, here I am, versus, for example, always fear-mongering the tech, making it so out of reach for people, where it's just about profiting off courses and so forth. Why not use it as a tool, per se, to help everyone, in my opinion? And this was interesting as with a lot of talk of things like AI generating things like video and voices, how about this one where it's going to be hard to tell for a lot of people where you can add things like facial expressions, gestures to make it look like it's a real person talking. So this one from Microsoft says, Vasa One lifelike audio driven talking faces generated in real time. Yeah, so according to this anyways, they're taking, for example, even things like a still image and generating things like facial expressions, adding the audio, you can make it look like they're singing and so forth and it's really hard to tell. So as they say here, we introduced VASA, a framework for generating lifelike talking faces of virtual characters with appealing visual effective skills, given a single static image and a speech audio clip. Our premier model, VASA1 is capable of not only producing lip movements that are exquisitely synchronized with the audio, but also capturing a large spectrum of facial nuances and natural head motions that contribute to perception of authenticity and liveliness. So here are some examples. Can you tell, for example, if you were just browsing quickly that this was AI generated in terms of some of these speeches and all that and again they even have things like the Mona Lisa for example like singing songs and so forth so what would you think of this if you saw this so you know sometimes nothing happens and sometimes everything happens all at once and you just got to deal with it and it's also just strange to both be extremely worried about different things and have your anxiety levels like peak to the highest they've ever been if you plan to go for a run and you don't have enough time to do a full run do part of a run. 
If you plan to go to the gym today, but you don't have the full hour that you normally work out, do some push-ups. These principles will not only make your user's journey more pleasant, they'll contribute to better business metrics as well. Users hate being interrupted and they hate getting broken experiences. Keeping these principles in mind in your app design makes for a better user journey. See, I tell the truth from what I see and sell it to Perez Hilti. Don't call me scuzzy, making money. That's my job, celeb photographer. It's going to be really hard to tell, like I said, for a lot of people to discern what's real and what's not. If you look really close, you could see it's generated because there's a lot of unnatural, I guess, types of movements in the facial expression and all that. But Either way, it's hard for people to tell if you publish this and you didn't tell them, for example. See you guys later.